Hi guys, hope y'all are having a great day. In this video, I will be doing my first prediction for the NFC West, and my first team will be the Rams. So let's look at their schedule. So this is their schedule, and let's hop right into their first game. So their first game is versus the Cowboys, and I do not think the Rams will be going off with a hot start. I think that Although the Cowboys do not play up to their potential, I don't think that the Rams will be able to beat the Cowboys. They do have Cooper Cup, but they did lose Todd Gurley, which, although he didn't do amazing, it's still a big part from their offense. So, yeah. Moving on to Game 2, I have the Rams at the... Er, not I have, but it's the Rams at Eagles. I have the Rams losing this again. This may shock a lot of people, but the Eagles, honestly, Carson Wentz had one of the, maybe even the worst um, receiving core in the league, and he still did a really good job with it. So I don't think that the Rams will be able to stop the Eagles. In Game 3, I have Rams at Bills. I do not have the Rams winning this either. So three sta straight losses from the Gecko, but the Bills... They're one of the best teams in the league with their addition of Stephon Diggs. I mean, they got Devin Singletary, who is really good for what it's worth. They have Josh Allen, who has a bunch of potential. Then they have a really solid receiving core with John Brown, Stephon Diggs, and Cole Beasley. So, yeah. In Game 4, we have the Giants at Rams, and I'm giving the Rams their first win. I don't think that the Giants will be a great team. I have yet to do my prediction for them, but I will do my prediction for the NFC East. So, yeah. Game 5 is the Rams at the football team. I have the Rams winning this again. Two not very good teams that I think that the Rams will be able to win against. Game 6, Rams at the greatest team of all time, the 49ers. I think that the 49ers will win this one. Um, it's at the 49ers home. 49ers are a really good team. Trying to be as unbiased as possible here. Not doing a great job. But, like, the 49ers, honestly, they might, at this point, have easily the best defense in the league. Maybe not easily, but they have well, the best defense in the league, in my opinion. Um, they have Nick Bosa, who I feel like will definitely get double-digit sacks next season. And or this season, I should say, I'm not sure. I guess this season, I should say. And they have Fred Warner, who's turning into an elite linebacker. So, yeah, I could talk about the 49ers for days, but I guess I'll just leave it at talking about those two players. And then they have George Kittle, obviously. So, in game seven, we have the Bears at Rams. I have the Rams losing this. So, in my Bears prediction, I talked about this. I think that the Bears' defense will be able to outplay the Rams' offense. I know that this one's a shocker as well, but yeah. Game 8, I have the Rams at Dolphins. I have the Rams winning this one. Now, look, don't get me wrong. The Dolphins' cornerbacks are not terrible. They have Akeem Tlaib, who's out of his prime, but he's still okay, I guess. They have Byron Jones, who had a great season on the Cowboys last season. And then they have Xavier Howard, who was probably maybe their best, maybe their second best player last season with Devontae Parker, but yeah. And then they have Matt Breida as well, who's great, but I don't think that they'll be able to beat the Rams because I think they need time to develop. In game nine, we have Seahawks at Rams. I have the Rams losing this one. So there is this thing that my friend always talks about, and it's how, so he's a Seahawks fan, and it's how the Seahawks always win versus the Rams when they're playing away, but they always lose to the Rams when they're playing at home. And that will happen later in this video. I will talk about how the Rams will be winning in the Seahawks home. So, yeah. In Game 10, I have the Rams at Buccaneers. I have the Rams losing this. The Rams really don't have many things going good well for them in this game. I mean, they're playing at the Buccaneers' home. It's a night game. And... I mean, they're the Buccaneers, so yeah. Game 11, we have 49ers at Rams. I have the 49ers sweeping the Rams because they're just too good, you know. Sorry for not being the last. 
In game 12, we have the Rams at Cardinals. I have the Cardinals winning this. I don't think that the Cardinals will be losing to the Rams in this series, as you will see later on in this video. I mean, the Cardinals, although I do not want to admit at all, they're a decent team. Not just a decent, they're a pretty good team now. I mean, they got a top three, in my opinion, receiver in the league in D-Hop. They have Kyler Murray, they have Kenny and Drake, who is insane. And then they got a lot of speed with Andy Isabella. And then they got a decent defense. I mean, they have Chandler Jones, who's a sack menace, so yeah. Game 13, we have Patriots at Rams. I have the Rams winning this. So, the Patriots have so many players opting out. I feel like it's going to hurt them a lot, and I feel like it made them a lot worse. Especially considering they don't have Patrick Chung or Devontae Hightower. But yeah, in game 14, it's the Jets at Rams. I have the Rams winning this. The Jets aren't a great team. I mean, they got potential, but I don't think that they'll be too good. And I think that the Rams will definitely win this one. Game 15, we have Rams at Seahawks. Like I said previously in this video, I have the Rams winning this. It's kind of weird how it works out sometimes, but yeah. And then in game 16, this might shock some people because... This is a rivalry game at the Rams' home, but I have the Rams losing this because I should back this up. I have the Cardinals being a pretty good team. They got DeAndre Hopkins. They've got Kyler Murray, who I think can prove some doubters wrong in this, in this upcoming season. Then they have Kenny and Drake, who I already talked about. He had a great season. They got speed with Andy Isabella as well. And then they, of course, got Chandler Jones on the defensive side, who is a menace. So, yeah. I have the Rams going 6-10. and 10. It's quite low for the Rams. And, like, what did they go last season? 9-7? So, yeah, it's pretty low. But, like, I feel like the Rams aren't too good of a team. And sorry for the spacing between the wins and 6 and then losses 10. It's kind of weird, but sorry for that. But yeah, that will wrap up this video, so thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye!